Hello, I'm on the Facts of Mars, and if you haven't heard this already, YouTube is going on yet another attack on free speech. YouTube has an naughty corner for controversial religious and supremacist videos. How do you define controversial? Excuse me, but yeah, you cannot have free speech if you don't have controversial speech. Put another way, free speech is inherently controversial, no matter what you do. If you don't have controversy, you don't have free speech. Today, YouTube clarified out plans to handle videos that don't violate any of its policies, but still contain offensive religious and supremacist content. I don't make sure they can't make any money. I don't make any money anyway. News comes to the status report on promises made by Google Council Kemp Walker, who is an evil person, on the June Financial Times op ed, which announced YouTube was taking several steps to inhibit extremist videos. Right here is this page. And they're talking about terrorism. Okay, so what if you just a guy like me who sits there and shouts down Governor Cuomo for doing stupid things or something like that. First, we are using our technology to help identify extremists and terrorism related videos. This can be challenging in a variety. A video of a terrorist attack may be informative news reporting if broadcast by the BBC or glorification of violence if uploaded in different contexts by a different user. So, the BBC has right saying what they want and we don't. Classic liberal thinking. We have used video analysis to models find and assess more than 50% of terrorism related content we have removed over the six, past six months. And now devote more engineering resources to apply to our most advanced machine learning research to train new classifiers to help us more quickly identify and remove extremist and terrorism related content. Second, because technology alone is not a silver bullet, we will greatly increase the number of independent experts on, on YouTube's trusted flagger program. Machines can help identify the problematic videos, but human experts still play a role in nuanced decisions about lying between violent propaganda and religious or trustful newsworthy speech. While many of the user flags can be inaccurate, trusted flagger reports are accurate over 90% of the time and help us scale our efforts to identify emerging areas of concern. So they have whole armies, which I already knew, they have whole armies out there censoring things. We will expand this program by adding 50% NGOs, I'm not sure what that is, non-government officials or something. The 63 organizations are already part of the program, we will support them with operational grants. This, thus, this allows us to benefit from the expertise of specialized organizations working on issues like hate, speech, self-harm, and terrorism. We will also expand our work with counter-extremist groups to identify content that may be used to radicalize and recruit extremists. In other words, if you're white, shut your mouth. Because you won't see Antifa or something like that being censored. Third, we will be taking a tougher stance on videos that clearly do not Violate our policies, for example, videos that contain inflammatory religious or supremacist content. In the future, these will appear behind an interstitial warning and they will not be monetized, recommended, or eligible for comments or user endorsements. This means that these videos will have less engagement and be harder to find. We think this strikes the right balance between free expression and the access to information without promoting extremely expensive, offensive viewpoints. Uh, that is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You're censoring things. Apparently, YouTube will 
expand its role in counter random radicalization efforts, going being uh, if you're white and proud of it, shut your mouth. That's what that means. Building on our creative account successful creative for change program promoting YouTube voices against hate and radicalization. We are working with Jigsaw to implement the redirect method more broadly across Europe. So this looks This is geared towards Europe, this uh, article here. Go back to his model. But I'm sure it's coming here. You know, this is going to apply to here too. I am deciding what I'm going to do. I might get my own website. I just have, just have not had time and haven't gotten around to it. I don't know how much good it would do me anyway. They're shutting us up, basically. That's it. Antifa, Black Panthers, any of those, they have free reign, but, um, uh, you're white and you want to talk about white issues, they're going to shut you up. Or if you're a Christian and you want to talk about, you want to explain what your religion talks about, they're going to shut you up. And it goes on now. Unbelievable. I don't get any views and I don't make any money, so why should I? And I don't really care. I'm not getting any views. I get a few loyal people listen to me and that's about it. Unbelievable. I might get my own website, but I don't know what I embed the videos and drive the traffic to YouTube or just keep, keep them on my own uh, site instead and not even upload them to YouTube. I can do, you know, either way. That would really piss them off if people started doing that, started driving traffic to their own uh, videos and bypassing YouTube, YouTube's uh, system. And judging from what I've seen here, I don't think that's going to work so hot. Stand by, folks. It's getting worse and worse. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.